Dynamic equalization can help to create a better mix by boosting or attenuating specific frequency ranges dynamically to temporarily tame unwanted resonances and lift up holes in the spectrum. So, if set up correctly, any attenuation or boosting happens only when necessary. Nuendo's flagship EQ frequency now also features a dynamic mode, which can be activated for each band separately. It can even be used in conjunction with the MS processing or split stereo modes to dynamically boost or attenuate only the left, right, mid or side channel of a stereo audio signal. It now is possible to toggle between two view modes. The multiband view for keeping track of the most important parameters for all bands simultaneously, or the single band view for detailed control of all parameters of a specific band. Once activated, the dynamic mode lets you adjust threshold and ratio, as well as attack and release times. The start parameter defines an initial level for the dynamic processing. Frequency 2 rings in the new VST3 multi side chain architecture. With new Endo 11 effect plugins, supporting the most recent VST3 version, can have multiple sidechain inputs per instance. Frequency 2 and Squasher are the first two plugins that support the new multiple sidechain inputs, enabling you to mix and design with even more precision and flexibility than ever before. You first want to choose the appropriate path from this drop-down menu. Now you can assign all the input sources you need, then select a path for each band separately, if you like. sound bits thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the new endo channel goodbye